Hello guys, how are we all doing today? So, today I have received the Bungie Store exclusive uh, Destiny 2 Beyond Light Collector's Edition. Now, I wasn't actually expecting this to come today. I mean, I got an email, but I thought it would have come out maybe closer to the release date because it doesn't actually come out until um, the 10th of November. But we have got it here. See, I haven't even opened the cardboard box or nothing. I was waiting to show you guys. So, without further ado, let us get on and get unboxing. Oh, hang on. Yeah, there we go. Yes, here we go. Let's get to it. Super excited about this, actually. I um, I wanted when they done the Bungie exclusive uh, Shadow Keep Collector's Edition. Unfortunately, I didn't get that in time, and it was sold out before I could get it. But um, someone was selling it on eBay, so I picked it up from there because that's quite a nice piece. It's got the um, I don't know if you've seen it. It's got the the, the cryptoglyph in it. <laughs> There it is, Destiny 2. No, oh, I'll just show it. That was what came in the other collector, Bungie exclusive collector's edition for Shadow Keep, the Hive Cryptoglyph. It's, uh, it's metal, it's really heavy, it's a nice piece actually. Um, but like I said, I, I didn't get it in time, I had to order it from eBay. And it was crazy money because people charge a fortune. Apparently, there was an emblem inside of it that it was selling for like hundreds of odd pounds, which is crazy for an emblem. Anyway, Beyond Light, Destiny 2, oh, nice, is it? nice box there, it's quite heavy, so that is what it is that you get in it. A Europa Exploration Canteen, Digital Deluxe Edition, Digital Code, uh, a Europa Explorer's Bag, Destiny Beyond Light Digital Soundtrack, a mysterious logbook, and what I'm super excited about, Diecast Splinter of Darkness replica with light. Because who doesn't love lights, honestly? Lights is like my life. I haven't got my lights on, but I usually have my Philips Hue going on there. So let's see. I know some people will be like, oh my god, leave it in the wrapping. What are you doing? Keep it sealed. Nah. Rip this open. There's no point doing an unboxing if you're not going to unbox it. So, there we go. Chuck that over there. Mm, it's got a little thing. A little slip, slip case here. Come on. Come on. It doesn't want to come off. It's fiddle nice and snug. There we go. A little cardboard slip. Right, how do we open it? Is it like a book? Does it push? Does it s no, it don't come out that way. Is this a oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> So it opens like it is. Oh. So the first thing we come across, and oh, that's quite a nice picture. What? Nice little picture there. That's actually there. My desktop wallpaper. Right. Let's start off with this. What's this? The canteen. So, water bottle. You know. <laughs> Plain and simple, it's a water bottle in it. So that's that. Oh, someone's sending in a gift for hype overload. Oh, Jamie's coming in with some cheer. Getting back on the top of that leaderboard. Yes, you are, Jamie. Yes, you are. So, yes, that is our canteen water bottle for us. I'm a peasant, peasant folk, water bottle. It's got a little engraved little destiny symbol there. And the little uh, bit on the front, and then you just fill it up with water, whiskey, whatever takes you fancy. It smells kind of funky, probably. <laughs> Definitely give that a wash before you uh, go drinking from it because it's a bit iffy. So that's that. Next up. Oh, okay, everything's inside the bag because there's nothing else in the box now. So everything's inside the little baggie. Right, so, well, I'll show you the bag first, I suppose. Oh, CeeLo Green is coming in with a... a sn what's that? He's just like... Like he just smelt a bad fart or something. 
is that probably because I said the water bottle smelled funky. <laughs> so this is the bag, the Europa Explorer bag. What's going on there? Nice little... I don't know, it's not really big enough to carry anything, and I suppose. Maybe a, 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 if you've got like an iPad or a laptop, a little laptop, one of those like 13 inch ones or something, or I don't know, you want to use it as a lunchbox maybe? I presume that's where your canteen goes. Yeah, oh, built for that, built for that it was. Lunchbox for work, yes, Nathan. You're on the same wavelength there. It's got a. Oh, a little popper bag here. Nothing inside there. This bag kind of smells funky too. But I suppose it's just that new bag smell. So we've got another little poppy pocket here. It's quite a nice size. And you might want to use it as like a school bag if you know you're privileged enough to have a funky ass school bag. Then that kind of seems pointless. You might get a pen in there if you're lucky because it's only like. That's it, just that little bit there. You might fit a pen in. Right, into the main section. Oh, what's it got here? It's got some writing on there, Galileo, and what looks like maybe some coordinates or something, or something going on there. Let's dive in. Let's do it. Oh, we've got some... Oh, it's like a little... Uh, note or a page access restricted redacted subject review of interdict on europa landings uh, associations active interdict awoken military commitments of bray clovis bray tech crypto hazard deep stone crypt golden age jovians nine tail oh, okay so this is kind of like a little note for everybody here that's a lot to read there is a little side note it says guardian this is an artifact of darkness, and now I entrust it to you. Do not take this change lightly. I have seen firsthand what its power can do to guardians who wield it, even to you. Like all new ground, it can prove treacherous to walk. Listen to your little light, and remember that you will live with your choices forever. Ooh. My grandfather came to Europa before the collapse to seek immortality. He thought he was chosen to lead humanity to the future. His experiments to this end were hideous, despite my... The hell does that say? Qualms, says qualms. Despite my qualms, I collaborated with him. I accept my responsibility in full. I would have you know everything. O oh, nymph in your... The hell does that say? Look, it's some terrible writing going on there. Look, it's like doctors writing, you know, when they write you a note and you can't understand a word it says. Oh. Oh. Something. Be all my sins remembered. You are not a nymph. But the principle holds, yes. We must know what he did with the power you now grasp. I have included a hand copy of the logs... I've deciphered so far. Reader, beware. My grandfather was worse than you know. Your stranger, I remain. Oh, so that was written from the stranger, who, I don't know if any of you guys have played it who are watching. Uh, we came across the stranger in Destiny 1, and then they just kind of vanished, and we haven't actually seen them again up until now. With all the trailers for Beyond Light coming out, obviously we then see the stranger... And this is like the first sort of thing about that. We knew it was coming, obviously, because... Oh, what the hell? Is that supposed to be like that? Okay, so there's this little book here that is has come in on the top, right? But, um... I don't know if you can see that. It looks like two pages have been torn out. So I don't know, I'm hoping, because it looks like quite a clean cut, it's supposed to be like that. And I ain't been bumped off, because I will not be happy if that is the case. Right. Now, this is... Ooh! Exciting! We'll get to that in a minute. 
Oh, we've got a little baggie. A little envelope with something in. What's this? Okay. It's like Velcro. Okay. So it's got like a, a peely bit here, which would be like a sticker, I presume. And then it's Velcro. And then it's got that on this side. So there's that. I don't know, I presume. Well, I don't see why you would need to like have it Velcro, really, but. What was that supposed to be? That is. Oh, plus other discoveries from Europa. Okay. Helpful. Well, there's that anyway. A little Velcro sort of. It's um like a rubbery kind of texture. There's that. <coughs> with a little sticky back. So you can stick it wherever you want, I presume. Take it with you. I don't know if it'll stick like. Oh, okay. I've just. I've worked it out. I've worked it out. It sticks on there. <laughs> It sticks on the front of the bag. Okay, that's where it goes. I understand now. It goes on the front of your little bag because it's got that on that side. So obviously it sticks there. Ignore me, people. I'm kind of stupid sometimes. But that's that what that is anyway. <laughs> oh, got some more viewers coming in. How are we doing? Just unboxing the, the Beyond Light. If you're tuning in late, Destiny 2 Beyond Light. I'll do a quick run through afterwards of any of the things that you've missed if you're only just joining us. Um, we've got a little sticker there as well, a little like vinyl sticker, might put it on my car, maybe, got like a shimmery, shimmery bit there, that's putting it, harsh Nathan, harsh, you don't need to agree with me, I know I'm an idiot, you're supposed to say, no you're not, it's alright, okay, I need to cover up part of this apparently, because it has a code on it, so, I'm just sort of going to cover up the back. So that is a postcard that you get from Europa. That's funky looking, isn't it? I mean, I don't know what that big ass tower is. Kind of looks like something maybe the Weasleys would live in. Maybe. It looks like it's kind of like home in pods, so it could be. Obviously you've got a ship up there. And then, um, yeah, that's that. So that's... On the back is just a blank postcard. I'm covering the codes there because no one's stealing my emblems there for me. <laughs> but yeah, it's a postcard. It's got a little stamp thing there. So there's that. That is all that was in that little envelope. Now we move on to the main event. Oh, I'm so excited for this bit. Is it the main event? Oh, hang on. There's something underneath. All this past time. Let me put the bag down. Uh... Oh, okay, so that's just obviously the instructions for the light there. Uh, USB cables, obviously a USB light. So this is the bit I was excited for. Ah! Awesome! What's that? Okay. The, what do they call it? Splinter of Darkness replica. Now, this is, it's metal. It's really quite heavy, actually really quite heavy. Now, I don't know if, I presume the people watching this are played the game, fans of Destiny, so you will know that lately these things have been appearing all over the planets, Mars, uh, Titan, uh, Io. They've all had these little splinters appearing on them. Uh, you can see them all up in the skies and then also one appears when a public event comes up. So, these are making us shit a brick because we're kind of scared of what's coming. I mean, we kind of know that, oh, it's got a button on it, that something, some shit is going down, basically. Because we've had to warn everybody in our quests, you know, you need to be careful of these splinters and things because they're coming and they're bringing some evil shit with them. So, that is that. Quite weighted. As you can see, it's got all the little, um, intricate details here going on it's got a button there putting other people's vinyl on your car I'm sorry Jamie but I can't ask you to do it because I will not put you under the copyright infringement so I'm sorry but it's got to be done oh Mylene I haven't played it in over a year I guess I missed a lot yeah a lot of shit's going down <laughs> Like a lot. <laughs> um, let's see. Can we get some charge going in on this? Uh, we got a USB. 
Hang on. Close that. I can plug it in down here. Come on. Right, I've lost the hole. There we go. Well, I don't know if you can sort of see that. Hang on. <gasps> That's amazing. Hang on, let me. Look at that. How cool is that? That is freaking awesome. Ooh. Hang on, you can push some buttons. Oh, it, it fades in and out. You can have it fading in and out. You can have it, f it's like flashing. Oh, you can have it flashing. Okay, I presume that's just off. And then just on. How cool is that? Like, I love lights. Is it going to have enough power to... Oh, here we go. I can quickly unplug it quickly. It's got a little bit of charge. There we go. Look at the lights. How cool is that? So that will take pride of place on my destiny shelf we've got going here on my desk. Next to the other, the cryptoglyph from the other Shadow Keep Collector's Edition. This was the one item I was super excited about. So, yeah. There is our little splinter of darkness with it it kind of looks actually looking at this thing it looks a little bit purple the lights they're not they're like a really um vibrant blue i actually thought they were teal because if you look at the blooming picture they look teal i almost thought they were going to be a teal color but they're not they're like quite a bright blue color um yeah but still that is awesome so i have to find somewhere for that to go Oh, it's like Christmas. Yeah, the main event, that's it. So, a little. Oh no, that's just changing the settings again. I turn it off. Right, I think I turned it off. So I'll put that on to charge properly so that I can have that on. I think that's. Oh, there's a little light. Foam triangle? I presume that will go under it so that it's not rubbing maybe on like the surface because like I say it's metal so it might scratch up your surfaces so I presume it's for that it's got some writing bungee 2020 oh I can't wait for the game I can't wait beyond light it's going to be amazing I think so yeah oh I'm super excited um I think that's it I think that's everything that came from us yeah that's it all so any of you guys watching are you excited for beyond light are you ready for it are you ready to find out what all this nonsense is about all the crap that eris has been going on about because i am i mean what are your thoughts personally i think eris is going to end up being bad eh? so that's just my thought she looks evil i mean i could be judging her judging her harshly but I think she might end up being a baddie. Eh? She's like Oryx's long lost concubine trying to claim the throne or something. Oh, now I want to become famous. Buy followers, primes, and views, and big followers are come. Hey, I want to be famous. No, uh, yeah, so that is it for my unboxing. Um, like I say, I'm really excited for it. Beyond like I've booked the week off work. Sad, I know. But that comes out, Assassin's Creed Valhalla comes out, the Xbox Series X comes out, all on the 10th of November. So I had to book a week off to catch up with everything. <sighs> yes, she is. What's that in answer to? Me being sad that I've booked like a week off work. <laughs> yeah. I don't even care. I'm just excited for it. It's only like, what, what's that? Two weeks, just over two weeks. Come on. Oh, yeah. We'll get into it. I'm going to be streaming it at midnight, actually. When it drops, on that Tuesday, Monday night slash Tuesday morning at midnight, as soon as that drops, I will be doing a midnight stream of it so you can watch the first gameplay of it. I know probably a few people will be watching it, but if you could check out my stream, support the small streamers, guys. It would be really, really appreciated. 
uh, yeah, so tune in at midnight on the 10th of November for a first look at the Beyond Light gameplay. It's going to be awesome. Oh, can't wait. Can't wait. Eris being a concubine. Oh, yeah. Yes, Eris is. She's Oryx's concubine. She's like Crota's stepmom and things. I think she's just going to come in. She's been working behind the scenes, acting like she's a goodie. She's going to swoop in there and be like, ha, bitches, it was me all along. Boom, like Thanos, snap her fingers and everybody's going to be gone. And we will have to take that bitch down. Won't be a long stream if you start at midnight. Oh, I'm going to have a nap first, Nathan. I ain't going to be at work that day, so I'm going to I'm going to have a nap in the day so that I'm ready for the midnight stream. Get some coffee in me, get some snacks, and get on it. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, don't disagree with me, Jamie. Oh, I'm just saying, Nathan. Jamie knocked you off the uh, the cheer thing there. See, music instrument. She's up there. Not you anymore, Nathan. That's all about. Yes, I will be on the midnight stream. I will be. Trust me. Have faith in me, Jamie. Have faith in your friend. Have faith. Anyway, guys, I'll let you all <laughs> get on with whatever it is you got planned for your evening. I will be going live again at 7 o'clock, streaming some more Warzone. It will either be a combination of... Oh, no. We've got Psycho Angel coming in and taking the most recent cheer spot. She is in there. He's been threatened not to knock me off before the next stream. <laughs> nice, yeah. 7 p.m. I will be going live with the. Oh, hang on. The music is coming in with another couple. Oh, I've lost my train of thought. Yes. 7 o'clock, I'll be streaming Warzone with the squad, hoping for another win. Um, it'll either be Battle Royale quads, which is in a day, or if we're in with some trios, it will be the haunting of Verdansk. And doing some zombies because that is absolutely fantastic. It gets the blood on the adrenaline pumping. Thank you, Nathan. When you're trying to be a zombie and trying and you're like the last people left in the gym. Oh here we go. No. So I can coming back in with them chains. Oh no. <laughs> Give it a sec, because music instrument's gonna be on there now, Jamie. You're going, you're going straight in there and you're Yes, so before all of this kicks off again, because there was a huge war yesterday, and I think there is war planned for the sea Ah! Uh, tune in at 7pm, people. Come and watch play Warzone. Play in the zombie. Trying to get them stims to get back to life. I thought we won last night when we died, like, but uh, we were robbed. It said Warzone victory, but apparently we came second, so I don't like that. <laughs> Cheer battle is real, yeah. <laughs> And not even cheerleader cheering, it's just cheering. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I've ticked my throat, I ain't got the row, that's fine. Um, yeah, so, I hope to see you all again at 7pm for some Warzone streaming. Tomorrow is my horror stream, Saturdays and Wednesdays. We will be moving on to Outlast Whistleblower. I don't know how long that is, I think it's like a little side story thing. And then Outlast 2, so I hope to catch you then. And don't forget, Destined to be on like midnight stream. 10th of November, which is a Tuesday, Monday night into Tuesday morning. I hope to catch you then. I'll be wearing my Destiny top, getting all ready for it. This is the Moments of Triumph one, which again, a Bungie store exclusive. And it's, yeah. Oh, I've got it personalised with a game tag. I'm sad. I'm sad. So, yes, I hope to catch you all later. Later in the streams, come and check out Warzone. Outlast, tune in for the midnight stream, and I'll let you guys get to it, whatever you might be doing. I'm gonna go and maybe prep some vegetables for dinner, having a nice stir fry. So, stay safe out there, guys, and remember, kindness costs nothing. Alright, I'll catch you all later. Oh, I know. Get that last cheer in.